Well, so the talk I gave was was sort of um, contemporary uh, lens on on where we're at with diagnosis, right, and and misdiagnosis. So. There are patients uh, who have MS who face years of delay before their correct diagnosis is made. And that's, that remains a problem in our field as well. And they are misdiagnosed with other disorders, not MS, right? Um, so um, we don't have as much data about what happens in those patients. And it's, it's probably something very healthcare system or regionally specific. Um, so it's not just misdiagnosis, but there can be barriers to healthcare access. Um, there could be you know, socioeconomic barriers uh, in terms of patients. There can be um, healthcare system, you know, um, lack of resources in healthcare systems that, that make it hard for patients to get the tests they need. There could be a lack of specialists. And so um, we have studies that have you know, well documented over the last 20 years that diagnostic delay is a real concern in patients with MS. And um, we've made some progress in diagnosing MS earlier in patients who present, you know, with clinical attacks typical for MS, but there's still a lot of progress we need to make. And I think, you know, studies that look at what we might call like the diagnostic journey of these patients in a more granular way to try to figure out what the barriers are to early diagnosis in, in particular regions are needed. And it, it may not be that, you know, in the, in the United States, those barriers are, are the same as in, in other countries. Uh, but or even in just certain states, they may be quite different than other states in the United States. So it's, it's very challenging um, to do that kind of that research. But I think that's the only way that we're going to kind of make a dent on, on sort of these patients, you know, improving um, diagnostic delay. Yeah, and, and some of this, you know, when we think about diagnostic delay in MS, um, some of it occurs at the level of neurologists, but a lot of it occurs before they, these patients even get to a neurologist, right? So, you know, it may be that educating primary care doctors on, on when to refer or order an MRI is something we need in, in certain regions um, as well, you know, so it's a healthcare system issue that we, we really need to untangle in order to make a dent on, on this problem of, of diagnostic delay. No, I mean, I think uh, when I entered this field, it felt like, you know, we had figured out how to diagnose MS and this was sort of a done deal. And everybody was very focused on developing effective therapies uh, to help prevent patients with MS um, from becoming disabled. Um, but I think what a lot of our recent data has shown that um, there's still a lot of challenges in making the right diagnosis and making it early. Um, and so I, I just think we need a lot, a lot, of, it, a lot of funding towards this effort. Um, and I think it could you know, ultimately prevent a lot of disability in patients with MS and, and uh, equally you know, improve care uh, for patients who, who don't have MS and are misdiagnosed. So I, I think um, it's a big unmet need in our field uh, you know, to develop uh, better biomarkers to help us differentiate MS from other disorders.